Hello, beautiful souls. This is Ona with Art of Awakening, and the universe just gave me a, an awesome pep talk that I wanted to share with you. It may not resonate with all of you, but I think for a lot of star seeds it might, and that's why I wanted to share. And so, just a little backstory. You may know that I've had a struggle with adrenal fatigue um, over the past few years, and it's it's really gotten better over the past few months. But in the last week or two, it I had kind of a a recurrence and so I sat down and did some journaling and some Akashic inquiry what I was shown was they showed me some memories that I had from being a really really little kid and I remember really clearly just trying to communicate telepathically and just not understanding why people couldn't couldn't you know pick up on what I was trying to relate and then also they kind of showed me throughout my life where I've sort of operated from this place of just giving and not always receiving in, in, in kind. And I think these are experiences that are pretty common to star seeds. But when they told me that the physical symptoms that I've had was related to some deep-seated emotions around these experiences of not being heard or these experiences of, of you know, my good intentions not being reciprocated or people not seeing my needs, right? Um, because as starseeds, we came from a place where all our needs were met, where people just automatically, everybody kind of just helps meet each other's needs, right? But now we come into this earth plane and that's just not the way it is, right? So what they told me was that I had some deep-seated anger, for one, uh, uh, around you know this and also grief and feelings of grief associated with just not feeling that connection for me this was a really kind of an aha moment because i've been doing a lot of work right i've been doing a lot a lot of work over, over decades and these were emotions that were so deep that i really wasn't even aware that they were still there but they were right the deep anger especially i think it was just something that i hadn't processed right and didn't even want to at some level admit that that anger was there and so this I just found it to be really really eye-opening and also really healing because after after I became aware of these it was just enabled me to just sort of take a really more compassionate look both at myself and at the people around me right because we're we're on this earth and I'm, I'm sitting out here in the garden because this earth is originally it's the garden of Eden that's what's what it's supposed to be but it is you know where we, we've come to this 3d density on the earth and even in nature nature is very cooperative and at its core it's it's incredibly a high vibe right but there's still things on this planet in nature there's parasites there's predation there's all the stuff that that kind of helps to make it work at this you know level that we're at right now um and so just incarnating onto a 3d planet you know that that is part of the package and um it just sort of made me realize it's like okay i incarnated here so that I could be here at this time. And, and so did all of you, right? And, and to bring our light. And again, I was reminded of, you know, there's no coincidence that we're called star seeds because we are seeds of light that are, you know, incarnated on the planet in, in a darker space, right? In a darker vibration. And so it, it, I just found it just a really helpful epiphany for me to realize that I still had these emotions that that I hadn't processed them and as soon as I became aware of them I fell asleep for like I took like this three hour nap and when I woke up I, I had been invited to this party where it, I knew there would be people there that really didn't see eye to eye that were not vibing the, the, you know the same level that I'm at it was family it was old friends and I decided, you know what, I am just going to move in there with compassion and realizing that I too have done a lot of things in this lifetime 
just in the process of trying to understand this world and to acclimate to it, right, and to survive in this world, I've done things that were pretty low vibe, right? You know, I think maybe we all have, right? And so it helped me to come to a, a bigger place of compassion with myself. And, and I actually went to this party and I had an okay time. I just found that I was able to relate to these people, even though we had sort of drifted apart, I was able to kind of relate in a way that still it helped me to re-realize the connection there, right? Because um, we are all connected. So anyway, I'm just sharing this in the hopes that maybe you'll find it helpful. If it doesn't resonate with you, just leave it. But I'm going to leave you with this one last thing that my guides told me. They said, you are a work in progress. Do not fret about the outcome. They said, you are to experience and to remember. You are the light within the stream, because they had shown me the stream of water, right? You're the light within the stream. Allow yourself to be carried forward and shine. We're here to shine, and we're here to be the light, and to be this, you know, these little seeds of light that we bring with us. And of course, we have shells, right? Each of us has a shell. We're a star seed, but we have the shell of ego and the shell of whatever it is, right? But inside, we're light, and that's what we're here to really shine forth as so just wishing you all the love in the world and remember you were born to be free